This was back when people thought things like that just didn't happen. And I wasn't safe. A man in my neighborhood was watching me. If I hadn't been so distracted, I would have realized something was wrong. Because that sort of thing gives me the skeevies. And then I was too busy thinking about the length of Ray Stein's eyelashes. I counted each one in library time while he read epilogue to Heloise, the most tragic love story ever. My murderer was a man from my neighborhood. I took his picture once as I talked to my parents about his border flowers. I was aiming for the bushes when he got in the way. He stepped out of nowhere and ruined the shot. He ruined a lot of things. I was slipping away. That's what it felt like. Life was leaving me, but I wasn't afraid. Then I remembered there was somewhere I was meant to be, something I was meant to do. My murderer began to feel safe. He took comfort in the fact no one was looking at him. He knew people needed to move on. They needed to forget. But there was one thing my murderer didn't understand. He didn't understand how much a father could love his child. I was still with my dad. I wasn't lost or frozen or gone. I was alive. I was alive in my own perfect world. I was in the blue horizon between heaven and earth. The days are unchanging and every night I dream the same dream. The smell of the damp earth. The scream that no one heard. The sound of my heart beating like a hammer against the clock. And I would hear them calling. The voices of the dead. I wanted to follow them to find a way out. But I would always come back to that same door. I was afraid. I knew as soon as I went in there, I would never come out. My murder could live in one moment for a long time. He could feed off a memory over and over again. He was animal, faceless, infinite. Murder changes everything. When I was alive, I never hated anyone. But now hate is all I had. I want him dead. I want him cold and dead with no blood in his veins. Look at me. Look what he did to me. What am I now, the dead girl? The lost girl? The missing girl? I'm nothing. I was stupid. I was so stupid. Nobody notices when you leave. I mean, the moment you really choose to go. At best, you might feel a whisper or a hint of a whisper, undulating down. My name is Stanley, like the fish. First name, Susie. I was 14 years old when I was murdered on December 6, 1973. I was here for a moment. 